Good morning, my friends. It's Saturday, November 18th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. In the St. John's Bible, I found a depiction of the Great Serpent, otherwise known as Satan, sometimes depicted um, as a snake, or sometimes as a dragon. This is a metaphoric way of forming the forces of evil into an animal shape for us to understand. Now, as we recall, the serpent is in the Garden of Eden, so always at the beginning there was a force of deception, of evil, of darkness, force going counter to the will of God, testing the will of God. And in Revelation, we see a lot more of this Satan or this deceiver. The word Satan means adversary, enemy. The one who slithers into our mind to deceive us. In the book of Revelation this morning, we see a uh, not so much a battle as a putting away, almost like a timeout. The angel, who is not named in this passage, but is the Archangel Michael, takes the dragon and puts it in a pit and locks it up, takes away the key, dumps it down a pit so it no longer will bother anybody. Doesn't destroy it though at this point, just locks it away for a thousand years. This is where we get the image of the pit of hell. Uh, this, this angel puts this dragon away um, into the pit so it won't bother us anymore. It won't deceive us anymore. Um, we will be safe. It's a powerful image and one which bears a lot of truth. There is on this earth um, a force of deception if you are objectively watching people who you're not involved with, who it's almost like people begin to have glasses on that distort their vision and they see um, maybe a different kind of people as the enemy or out to get them. And the other people see them as the enemy when in reality, neither side really wants it in its pure state to hurt the other but they become deceived. Uh, we have in our minds a paranoia, you could say, um, a distrust. Um, we certainly have temptation. Um, I do believe in that there is evil present in this world, um, forces of darkness that deceive, that confuse, that get people to think the worst of each other, get them to react in fear, and violence and hatred and the cycle goes on and on and literally they dig their own holes that way until they are living in a world of war and violence um, and and the more violence the more fear and the more hatred it's it's a cycle a cycle but the people often if you talk to them are, are not bad they just are deceived most human beings, not all, but most human beings, I believe, are good and are deceived. Now, there are some human beings who are, um, as M. Scott Peck would call, people of the lie, people who have no conscience, who are indeed very destructive. But those kind of people are rare. For the most part, a lot of the world is troubled by deceived people who misunderstand the intentions of others and who have a distorted worldview. So we must have courage to forgive. We must have courage to not be deceived by the evil one. Jesus in the Lord's Prayer uses the phrase, the evil one. We always don't say it correctly in English. Deliver us from evil, we say. But he had it as the evil one. Deliver us from the evil one. Try to see the darkness for what it is. And instead of hating other people, identify the deceiver himself and cast him out. As Christians, we have prayers. Just all we need is the name of Jesus. We can say, Satan, be gone. Help me to see with love. Help me to forgive. 
coming to begin anew. Satan, go to the pit where you belong and remain there. And we thank you for the angels that come and help us with this. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for these powerful images that help us to see the truth, which is that we live in a world which is rife with goodness and deception. And it is us to us to, to see, to see the powers of the angels, the powers of darkness, and to be people of the light. Help us to seek after justice and truth. Help us to encourage others to forgive, to reconcile, and to begin anew. Help us not to be deceived, but always to tell the truth in love. We ask you to bless the sick today, Lord Christ, to bless those who are dying and those who mourn, the hungry, the addicted and mentally ill, those who have suffered violence in these wars. We ask for your peace, for the courage to find a way to peace in the Middle East, in Ukraine, in Somalia, all over this world. Bring us justice, bring us mercy, bring us peace. And cast away the works of darkness. May we be children of light. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Have a great day.